Now, I've had this uh, block of clay here uh, in this uh, box or this uh, pan, this dish pan, which I've cut a hole in, where I warm my clay up underneath this light for a couple of days now. Now it's time to cut it up. And uh, I use a uh, one of these pasta, or it's something you use in the kitchen. I'm not sure what they use it for. Not sure this is warm enough to cut, but I'm going to attempt it. Anyway, I'm going to find the halfway point, and that seems to be it right there. And do it there and there. And uh, run a straight edge from there to there. And that way I can cut directly down the middle and uh, have the pieces come out evenly. I used to use a big butcher knife. Oh my God, that's hard to get out. And uh, I found this works just as well. And you got this round thing on top so you don't hurt your hand. Okay. Put that back down there. And now, I'll trim this up. People ask me what kind of clay I use. It's a non-hardening uh, plasticine clay. It's called J-Mac. And uh, Chavant is good. People who live in warm climates may want to check, check out uh, Chavant uh, HD or high, or is it HP? HT, HD, I don't know. It's It's a clay that uh, they designed for hot climates so that it has a higher melt point. Uh, I can have the, the light directly onto this clay will uh, literally melt the clay but if you put the light directly on the Chavant HD, I, I don't know, I'll put a link um, to the website in my uh, description below I would uh, contact uh, SculptureDepot.net. They have, uh, they sell it from there. And they sell a lot of the tools that I use as well. If uh, you ask them, they will direct you to the tools that I've ordered in the past, which are really good tools for sculpting. Uh, Karen at Sculpture Depot designed a tool called the Glyptic set of tools. And uh, got one here. It's a tool that you can have a handle with two ends or one end, like this one. And you can buy the wire to go into the tool. And you've got a little Allen wrench uh, nut right there. And you can uh, take the uh, tool. Or the loop out and interchange it with other loops and uh, they've got big tools like that and they got little ones like this and and instead of uh, if one of these uh, breaks uh, you just buy a new uh, loop and it's only maybe a couple of dollars under five dollars for a loop which is cheaper than buying a full tool so I love these uh, glyptic tools they start getting loose like uh, wires always do in wooden handled ones you just tighten up the Allen wrench and uh, screw and uh, it's uh, tight again. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing Saturday evening here and getting ready for next week to work. And uh, it's my last block of clay, so I'm going to have to order some new clay pretty quick here. So what I do is I, as I cut the clay, which I'm doing now off camera, I take the piece of clay and throw it in my clay pot, pot and this will just fill up and then the light will keep it nice and warm and smaller pieces uh, warm up faster and they're easier to uh, handle than big blocks of clay. That's why I cut it up. Alright, good night everybody. 
See you next week.